So there is a old writing by Friedrich Schiller, a German romantic poet, that with stupidity the God themselves fight in vain. Now some of persons, some of people believe that there is a battle between good and evil going on, and I'll reframe it as in there is a great battle going on between stupidity, delusion, and realization and insightful wisdom. Now, first things first, I would like to uh, give the root back to the Buddhist ideas. A delusion, according to Buddhism, is a wrong view of reality. Now, some might say that it is rooted in Buddhism, and in that case, realization is what the Buddhist or Hindi philosophies convey. However, let's take it to another level and establish that the right view of reality is the insightful inner truth that destroys all delusions and ignorance. I won't explain what it is, but that is as a philosophical framework that is testifying for such and such. So I will analyze this based on the Routledge International Handbook of Ignorance Studies. This is a chapter on uh, organizational ignorance and it is analyzing the source of ignorance and the types of ignorance with some examples. I will put it into a religious framework, not an organizational framework. So source of ignorance, absence of knowledge, unknowns, unknowns, ignorance that is beyond anticipation. So for example, if a Christian person doesn't know anything about pagan Greek or Roman philosophy, he doesn't even know that he doesn't know anything about it. Now, if he admits that he has no idea about the hidden or Buddhist or Hindi philosophies, he knows about the unknowns because he is apprehending that he has incompleteness of knowledge and he is aware of the fact that he is completely ignorant in this matter. Now, knowable known unknowns, that knowledge that is not central to the uh, core competencies, so someone might know that he doesn't know, but he doesn't particularly need this knowledge. So this is about knowledge selection. We're talking about episteme here, not wisdom and not realization, but the very basis of insight and realization is also knowledge that facilitates such. Now, then we move to ignorance about existing knowledge, unknown unknowns. So unrecognized tacit knowledge, such as embedded in routines and practices. In other ways, we may uh, not know that we know. And uh, for example, we have a tom of Cicero, the offices, that is uh, somewhere in the library, but we don't know that it is there. If we all of a sudden discover that it is there, and we know that it is there, it is unknown known. Now, next one. Errors, mistakes caused by human error. So despite the fact that we may have an absence of knowledge or ignorance about existing knowledge, we may commit errors, as in philosophical errors, uh, epistemological errors, ontological errors, and so on, so on. Now, there is also ignorance that is stemming from suppressing knowledge. That is the taboos. For example, a Christian person won't realize or touch any other philosophy because his religion strictly prohibits him from knowing what he does not know. Denials, even if he there's, there comes the sociology of uh, constructivism, uh, we may know, but we nihilate something, rationalize something away, and we deny the fact that the knowledge is existing, or as in politics, purposefully deny the knowledge of the things that we did know in order to suppress the knowledge of the knowledge in the eyes of the public about, our, for example, corruption. Now, secrecy. Secrecy is something else because we are trying to suppress the knowledge from reaching the public or individuals. And privacy is also a different sector as if we want to uh, have our deals in the private, not necessarily secretive, but still to the point. So, after uh, describing those uh, types of ignorance, we may manipulate knowledge with ignorance. There is a discipline called sociology of knowledge, episteme, and the sociology of ignorance is mainly about the uh, way that we structure our ignorance, our unknowing, 
which is directly referring to the knowing part, to the gnoseological part, to the epistemic part. Now, the majority of the battles of Earth, on Earth, is referring to unrealized, deluded, unwise, unrationed, unreasoned policies and acts of human beings that are always or most of the time believing that they are right, that they know. Because people like to be right, people like to know. The problem is with the delusion and ignorance interfering with the true validated knowledge and facts. The problem is when it even contradicts not only science, but realized metaphysics. And for example, a Christian fanatic might attack someone more realized or knowledgeable in certain ideas on the basis of his ignorance and on the basis of his will to stay ignorant, blind faith and all that. So am I fighting with the titans, with the giants trying to combat ignorance? Well, that's not my task. That's a Herculean task of cleaning the August tables of the world. I just wanted to make this short lecture to portray that no, it is not a battle of good and evil. And if I would like to term darkness as something, it is the darkness of stupidity, of violence and ignorance. Can we create a better world with reason, enlightenment? The enlightenment project failed. We can't. People, by and large, remain irrational and they act irrationally, mixed with some reasons, some instincts, some impulses. That depends on self-cultivation. And most people are not self-cultivated. They are not trained in discipline to know how they act, why they act, and so on and so on. So, a shot in the dark, maybe it will make some person out there realize what the issue is truly about. Thank you.